This tutorial is aimed at those wanting to recover a BIOS on a Chinese branded Windows 10 TV box with an Intel processor of some sort. Now, if you have a branded TV box, maybe you've got an Intel compute stick, for example, then the recovery process for that is totally different. And I suggest you go to the manufacturer's website and ask them about recovering the BIOS and your particular brand. But if it's like a B-Link, a Chewy, or some other Chinese branded Windows 10 device, then this tutorial may help you recover your BIOS. So this Z83 is a product by B-Link and we tried to update the BIOS using Windows 10. Unfortunately, there is a well-known issue when updating the BIOSes with Windows 10. Unfortunately, that issue arose when we tried to update ours and it totally killed our TV box, which means we cannot turn it on. We cannot access any information on screen and all we're getting is a blue LED light when plugged in. So I'm gonna be showing you today how to recover your TV box that's running Windows 10 using a very simple tool called an EEPROM programmer. Anyway, my name is Matthew and you're watching another tutorial by the MXQ project. So this tutorial is basically aimed at a huge amount of different TV boxes running Windows 10. Now you're going to need a tool called an EEPROM programmer. And this is a generic tool that's available and will work with pretty much all the chips that we're going to be working with today. Although we have come across our own issues and now briefly go over those to maybe help some of you guys with those problematic chipsets. So this is an EEPROM programmer that you're staring at now. And this is a really cheap, really simple tool you can purchase off many well-known auction sites maybe Amazon, eBay, and so on, or even Alibaba, AliExpress, and you can get them pretty cheap. Now I shall leave a link in the description to the exact one I've got here in front of me. And yeah, again, they are very, very cheap. So once you've got that, then you are pretty much ready to start with this tutorial. So when you get your EEPROM programmer, you need to set it up the way I'm setting it up on screen now. It's very straightforward, you just need to get it the right way around because we need certain pins to connect to certain points on the board that I'm going to show you in a second. So now you need to take apart your Windows 10 TV box. I can't show you how to do that, but most of the time it's pretty simple and straightforward. A couple of screws at the bottom of it. Just be careful when you're actually plying the actual casing apart, because normally the Wi-Fi antenna is stuck to the top of the casing. And if you're too rigorous with it, you might end up ripping the Wi-Fi cable in half and what they'll just ruin your Wi-Fi capabilities. Anyway, find your BIOS chip somewhere on your board and what that BIOS chip is it's an 8 pin BIOS flash chip and it's just a really simple chip that stores your BIOS file now it should look like something like this that I'm showing on screen now and it should be somewhere near the processor or around that sort of point and on top of the actual BIOS chip should say something like this it should say WinBond it might have ATL on there or something like that and what what else you'll have on there is a little round 
maybe blob of ink or a sticker possibly and that is basically locating the pin that will provide the power to the chip when connected to our EEPROM programmer. So if you can have a look around on your motherboard just now. If you want to actually send me pictures, you can upload them and just link them in the actual comment section below. I'll try and help you locate it to the best of my ability at least. And once you've located that 8 pin BIOS chip, we can then proceed to connecting our EEPROM programmer to it. So what you'll have is you'll have like a crocodile clip style thing that came with your EEPROM programmer and as I showed you before how to set it all up. It should be set up now and on that EEPROM programmer clip you shall have a red cable attached to it as well. So that red cable needs to link up to the little coloured dot that I mentioned before. So that red pin needs to locate onto that pin on that BIOS chip. Most BIOS chips will be very simple and you'll see it straight away. Some of us might not even have that little red mark or blue mark or yellow mark just to locate that power pin. And you might have like a little indentation somewhere on the actual chip and that'll locate your power pin. So you just need to make sure when you're clipping your actual clip onto the actual BIOS chip that the red pin is located to the same point as the little red blue or yellow dot or whatever it is. Once you've done that as shown it should clip on nice and easily. It might be a bit difficult for some people depending on the style of chip. I have had other chips in the past that have been very 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 thin and that's caused me some issues when getting this clip to connect properly. But just play about with it. You know it's going to take you a bit of time to actually digest this video so watch it a few times because we're going to move on to the next part using the actual program and we're going to install onto Windows 10 and that's going to tell you whether you've connected it properly or not. So once you've actually clipped your clip onto your BIOS chip on your motherboard you now need to insert the USB connection on that EEPROM programmer into your PC. Now the next step we need to install a program to actually erase and flash a new BIOS onto your BIOS chip. Now this is a really simple, very straightforward, executable program and I shall leave the link to that in the description for you guys. Once you've installed it, it'll take you two seconds to load it up as I'm showing you right now. And then you need to click detect and that will change some figures in the bottom left hand side of the program screen. And if it's connected properly to the actual board, it should change to certain figures. It just depends what BIOS chip you've got, so I can't be actually sure what it's going to say. But it should change and give you some figures along the bottom, like it's showing you right now. Once you've done that, you can then click Erase. That's going to erase the BIOS off the chip. Once it's done that, it should just say OK, and then you can click OK. Now this is the point that I haven't got to just yet and that is actually locating the correct BIOS for your particular motherboard. So maybe you've got a B-Link product like I have here, the Z83. You can go into B-Link's website and you can actually download the correct BIOS for your particular motherboard. It might take you a few goes to get the right BIOS before it actually reboots the system and allows you to use Windows 10 again. As well as that, if you've got a different device, maybe a Chewy box or something, again the BIOS files are on there and they are called dot bin files okay they are dot bin files and what we need to do is on the actual EEPROM programmer we just need to click open on the file manager obviously just like any any other program click open and select our BIOS file select it and then the final thing we just need to select is program and allow that to write that dot bin file onto the chip on our motherboard and once that's done we can click 
identify just next to it. I think it's called identify. I'll show you in the actual video. And once it's done, it should verify. Actually, that's it. It says verify just next to it. This is verify. Verify that the actual contents of that .bin file is the same as on the BIOS chip. And once you've done that, you can disconnect your board and go and try and see if it'll boot. If it does not boot, don't worry. I'm sure you've maybe either won not connected your board properly to the actual programmer. Two, you've got the wrong bin file. So you might just have to give this a few tries before you get the right bin file <clears throat> and the right actual connection on the board. It is a bit tricky sometimes. I've had loads of issues myself getting it the right connection to it. Because although it might connect, it will still the program will still say it's flashed, it's verified and so on. It's a bit of a funny tool to use it's not a perfect program, but once you've got it actually connected, it works fine and it should write the bin file properly to your actual BIOS chip. So I really hope it helped you guys with problems with your BIOS to actually recover your device. Please let me know in the comment section below if I've A, missed anything from this tutorial. I'm certainly no expert when it comes to this. Two, if it helps you, if it helped you recover you, and if you've got any other pointers that I can maybe add to this tutorial, because it's a tutorial I'm trying to build up over time as the more I learn about how to do this, because there is no information out there on how to actually do any of this process when it comes to cheap Chinese Windows 10 TV boxes. Anyway, I really hope this helped you. My name's Matthew, and don't forget to check out the website, mxuproject.com, as well as the Facebook group, and of course Twitter at MXQ Project. Thanks again for watching and we shall see you very soon.